The brilliant blue lapis lazuli with twinkling flecks of gold has fascinated civilizations across the world. It has been used in jewelry to adorn objects of art and to paint the most significant artworks in history. Lapis was originally found in the Sare Sang Valley of the Badakhshan Mountains in northeast Afghanistan. It was first used in the pre-Indus Valley settlement of Mehargarh in Pakistan. It was also one of the most important commodities traded during the Harappan civilization where beads were made out of it. It traveled to Mesopotamia, Egypt, Sumeria and even Rome. Ancient Mesopotamians used lapis to adorn temples and create jewelry and seals. Legend has it that Cleopatra wore powdered lapis lazuli as eye shadow. Around the 5th century CE, a pigment derived from lapis was created and used in the paintings of the Ajanta caves. In Europe, lapis cost as much as gold. The pigment made of lapis, called ultramarine, was used by major Renaissance artists like Titian, Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. According to lore, a young Michelangelo left his painting The Entombment incomplete because he couldn't afford ultramarine. He finally worked with it when painting the Sistine Chapel. The 17th century artist Johannes Vermeer ended up bankrupting his family for ultramarine. He is best known for Girl with a Pearl Earring, which shows a girl draped in the fabled blue. The pigment was so prized that in 1824, a French society offered a reward of 6,000 francs to develop a synthetic alternative, and French ultramarine was created. It was used by impressionist artists like Renoir. Although many alternatives have been created, none has been able to match the Afghan lapis.